Hello, it's Reese here. Welcome to our how video showing you how to save buckets of time by using the different ways of automatically assigning support tickets in Zoho Desk. When we jump into Desk without automatic assignment rules, this is what our ticketing system would look like. All the tickets come into one dashboard. They're accessible to everybody who needs them, which is great for smaller, less departmentalized organizations. Once they're here, individuals have to pick them up or we have to manually assign them to the right team or service agent which, as you can see, takes time and opens the door for human errors, double messages, missed tickets, and a lot of other potential issues. Now this method can work, but by using auto assignment rules, it makes the whole process much more efficient. There are lots of different ways and different criteria to use when setting up assignment rules, but today I'm gonna to show you five examples using our mock company, Aftersport. Whenever we wanna set up an assignment rule, the first thing we do is we head up to the settings in the top right corner. Once we're in here, we click on assignment rules under automations. Now we're here, click on the new direct assignment button and this will take us to the screen for creating our rules and the criteria that feed the rule. There are lots of different ways we can assign the tickets and I'll take you through five of the most popular today. The first example we're gonna go through, you'll recognize if you've come straight from our wow video. We're gonna assign any tickets containing delivery in the subject line to our distribution team. Now to do this, we first need to give our rule a name and a description. Next, we need to think what tickets do we want this rule to apply to? So we want this to apply to all tickets coming into all departments. And we want this to apply to tickets that are open and that the subject contains delivery. Now where do we want these tickets to be sent? We want them to be sent to the distribution team. So when we save this rule, all incoming tickets that meet this criteria will be assigned straight to the distribution team. Now that our rules are set up, if we head to the distribution team department, we can see that new tickets that meet this criteria will come straight here instead of landing in the shared dashboard. Now this will give your team a more focused dashboard and ensure that tickets are landing with people with the skills to deal with them. Now what we'll do is we'll quickly run through four different ways of assigning tickets. The next way we're going to look at assigning is by account. Now at our company, Aftersport, we have dedicated account management teams for each sport and the talents we represent within them. So we want to set up a rule that directs tickets from each account to the relevant account managers. Now because Desk is integrated with Zoho CRM, this information is pulled automatically, which means that emails, phones and social accounts can automatically be associated to their CRM account. So this example, we will assign all tickets coming from Johnny Wilkinson's account to the rugby account manager. To do this, we first need to enter a name and description. And we want this to affect tickets coming into all departments. We can identify it as Johnny's account by email, phone, website, but here we've chosen email. And this is the email we've got associated with the account as a whole. And any contacts within the account will come under this email. This is the criteria we need to make this rule come into action. But then where do we want to send it? So we want to send these tickets to the talent management department and within that department to the rugby focus team. And we hit save and it's live. Okay, so we see it in action. We've had a ticket raised by Johnny's agent regarding some kicking courses he was going to be doing. Now it no longer comes into the main dashboard, but it gets sent straight to the rugby account management team. Our next example is assignment by language. Now, because we deal with sports stars internationally, we get tickets in multiple languages and we need people who speak that language to read them and reply to them. And again, we need to start by giving the ticket a name and a description. Then we add the criteria that the language of the ticket is German and is open. Now, who are we going to assign these tickets to? We want them to go to the general dashboard first because we don't know the details yet, but we assign it specifically to a German speaker which in our demo setup is the only person in the company, me. And to clarify, although I got a B in GCC German, that was a fair few years ago and I cannot speak German. But for the sake of this example, let's say I can. Now that the rules are set up, any tickets coming in in German will automatically be assigned to me. And as you can see in the top right corner, I've just had a notification. We've had a ticket in German from Sebastian Vettel's agent. Now I can open this ticket, translate it, and pass it on to the relevant team. The next method for assigning tickets we're going to look at is by the relevant product. Now after Sport, we don't have specific teams for each product. 
So what we're going to do is we're going to assign all product related tickets to product team. So for this, we're going to first give the rule a name and description. And for the criteria, we want all tickets where the product field is not empty. So the ticket is associated with at least one product. And we're going to assign these tickets to the product department. Now for your company, you might want to select a specific product by its name or number and assign this to a specific team or select a selection of products and assign it to a dedicated department. Now this rule set up, you'll see that instead of going into the general dashboard, these tickets related to products and product defects are getting sent to the product team. And the final method we're going to look at today is going to help us escalate tickets under a number of different situations. And we're going to cater for a lot of these under this one rule. So as always, we're first going to pop in a name and a description for the rule. Now, to set the criteria, firstly, if they've been marked for escalation, it's a pretty obvious one, we need to escalate them to the team. We also want to escalate tickets if the resolution is overdue or if the reply to the ticket is overdue. So there's also a couple of other criteria to add in here as well. If one of our agents has set the priority as very high, these need to be escalated. And finally, if there are eight or more threads, which essentially means eight or more replies within the ticket conversation, because we'd hope at after sport that by now that ticket will be resolved. Finally, set the recipient of these tickets, the escalation team, and then we can hit save. Now because we've applied these rules and added the or in between each, if any one of these criteria are true, the ticket will be escalated to the correct team. And as we can see here, we've had a number of them come through from the main dashboard and gone straight to the escalations team so they can be sorted out quickly. So that's all the rules we're going to go through today. But as I started this video with, every company is different. So these exact rules might not work for you, but a variation or combination of them might. And there's still a lot of other methods and a lot of other setups you could use that we just didn't have time to go through today. Your best bet is to dive in and see what suits you and what fits your business best. Now, thank you very much for watching. Why not go over to our YouTube channel and check out the other videos in our Wow and How series.